Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Today I'm doing a video on what Microsoft is calling the intelligent speaker functionality, which is now available in Microsoft Teams rooms across a specific set of devices from a couple of different vendors. On this video, I'm gonna be testing one intelligent speaker in particular. It is a device from Sennheiser they sent me to test. It's their intelligent speaker. Uh, this isn't a review of that device as such, but I just wanted to show you the intelligent speaker functionality working. Be sure to stay tuned to this channel and also my blog, uh, where I'm gonna be doing a video on the device itself as a ditch the box video, but also uh, a couple of different blog posts on intelligent speaker and the device as a companion to that video or that video series anyway. So without further ado, uh, just a bit of background information. So one thing that I did uh, initially, and this was quite a while ago, is I recorded my voice in the Teams desktop client. If you don't know where to do that, I will show you very quickly. So if you go into here and into settings, and then under recognition, you've got uh, the ability to actually record your voice. So as you can see, I've recorded my voice. Uh, if I pressed update, it would ask me to record it again. I don't want to do that just now. Uh, but I've actually got uh, the team's uh, voice recognition already set up. So my voice is stored in Teams somewhere, and it's there uh, and identifiable. I've set up a meeting. As you can see, I've got the meeting reminder here uh, with the join button. And over here, I've actually got the front of room display. The only reason I'm showing you that you'll see in a moment is that you'll get a little bar saying that transcription started, and that's it. Right, so right now I'm going to just join this meeting from the Teams desktop client. And what I'm gonna do as well is I'm going to join this meeting from the Teams desktop client there. Yeah, so now I've joined, you've got a view from the, from the Teams room there. And of course you got me from here where I'm recording my screen, etc. Right, so the room set up, you can see super small room, green screen behind me. I got a camera on a little tripod just there from the team's room. And just over arm's length away here is the Sennheiser Intelligent Speaker. So how does Intelligent Speaker actually work? What it does is you use one of the certified qualified devices uh, that's on the table itself. And assuming people have recorded and stored their voice in Teams, what it tries to do when you've enabled transcription in the meeting, what it does is it uses those recorded and stored voices and analyzes the actual transcript and the recording uh, that's kind of hap happening simultaneously. And then it tries to attribute a name of the speaker that it's recognized against the text or the things they've actually said in the transcript itself. So this is great for watching after the fact, but also uh, if you enable transcript, you can actually watch the transcript go live. So if you are somebody that needs to know who said what, uh, it is easily uh, identifiable. So without further ado, I'm just going to enable transcription in this meeting, just hit more button and then tra start transcription. Note that I'm not starting recording. All I'm doing is turning on the transcript. So a couple of things will happen. Randy Chapman has started transcription. Dagobah has started identifying people. So it knows that I've got an intelligent speaker plugged in and it's gonna start identifying people. On the front of room display, of course, you get that little banner that says transcription has started and uh, asking you for consent, etc. Right, so as you can see, what it's done is identified that the room that I've joined from is Dagobah but what it's done is actually it's recognized my voice and added my name to some of the things that I'm saying. And then it just starts to compile this long transcript. So it's done these couple of little paragraphs there. The transcript is, you know, it's pretty accurate, I, I think you, you'll find. But what it's doing here is as I'm saying things real time, it's got the, the room name and then after I stop talking for long enough for it to actually catch up, the transcript actually just catches up and then it tries to analyze that data in real time and then uh, and then uh, attribute my name to it, assuming it's it's figured out that I've said that. All right, so I, ta I stopped talking for just a few moments there. And as you can see, all those things that I was saying that it was trying to do real time here, it's actually added it to that long list of stuff 
that's attributed to me in the room. Now, I don't have anybody else in the room or anybody else that's recorded their voice in my tenant. It's a lonely tenant. It's just me and some demo users. Um, I don't uh, I happen to have uh, Marty McFly or Han Solo or, or, or Luke Skywalker around to uh, attribute their name or anything like that. So it's just me. But as you can see, one, the transcription is, is pretty accurate to what I've been saying, but also really cool feature that this speaker in the middle of the table has and the feature that's built into this uh, intelligent speaker thing has actually found that recording, analyzed what I'm saying in real time, and actually put my name against it. So really useful feature for people that need that. So what you need to make this work, of course, is a Microsoft Teams room on Windows, not Android. Android doesn't work right now with intelligent speakers. Uh, and in fact, by saying right now, I'm kind of saying that it might be coming. I hope it comes. You know, it's something that's that could be really cool, either on devices that have built-in microphones or maybe through these uh, specific devices. If you can use external audio, that would be a cool thing. But for right now, it's a Windows-only feature, so devices from any of the vendors will do. Um, you, of course, need a certified or qualified intelligent speaker. Uh, the uh, Sennheiser device that I'm using now, and of course, you can get devices from the two certified vendors, which are Yaling with their M-Speech and EPOS with their Expand 5, I believe it's called, intelligent speaker. Both meant to be center of table uh, in rooms with no more than about 10 people. And assuming you've those 10 people have actually recorded and stored their voice in Teams, uh, you should be able to uh, get that attribute uh, that knows that they were the people that said it and it will actually attribute their name into the transcript. Right, so look out for other videos where I review the device itself and some companion blog posts on not only Intelligent Speaker but also the Sennheiser device and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.